What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel. We're online at www.whatsupinthesky.com. Back from a couple days, I had to take off after I had my tooth pulled. Feeling a lot better now. A um, couple weeks, got to go back and get some more work done. Ooh, dentist. Now, this was sent to me on my page. I, I remember this picture a little while back because of the cuts and how perfect they seem to be in here. And it looked like a really small quarry. Basically, like some people came along and they wanted to get a couple blocks that needed to fit somewhere, and they basically took them from here. And this is uh, very similar to some we find here on Earth. Uh, the smaller quarries, something you know, like I said, something that, that just you're what you know, you're building something, you need a block or two, and need the right size. You come here, you you get it out. You can even see where this one cracked. It looked like what they were trying to do when they did it. And I've got the saw here. This is saw 170. You can get this link right here. It's going to be down in the description. It'll bring you up to it. And uh, it has a bunch of these. Like I said, the person who sent me it said they're just too straight and too perfect, which, you know, nature can make straight and perfect lines too. Don't get me wrong. So, But I did find it interesting. I found a couple pictures here to actually, uh, you know, one picture just, you know, looking through the old quarry stuff. And this was just an old stone quarry somewhere in the United States where they took a couple of these, you know, they basically came and took a couple of these out. And you can see the perfectly straight lines kind of like that there. And also you can see how they're kind of come over and go back down in. There's like a little uh, a piece to it, kind of like this, this one right here. Let me bring it up some more. Oops. Sorry about that. I've got some really good videos coming up. They're going to they're taking a little bit more time to make. There's a little bit more information going into it. One's going to be a really long one because it's one I've been meaning to do for a while. And uh, very excited. Just excited to get back on these videos, get some more out. You know how it goes. Um, I go through spurts. Also some more space news. A lot of good stuff going on. I'm going to try and get another one of those out here soon. Um, talk about some of the things, especially some of the stuff going off the coast of California. All sorts of good stuff going on. But uh, see how each one of these, how they get the rocks out, they, they, you know, they chisel away at it and they pop it on out. It's amazing how this works. But what do you guys think? Does this look like uh, something, somebody was going to quarry some rocks here? And you know, this might not be the rock they took. The rock they took might have been from up here, you know, or something along those lines. Or maybe the bottom side of it is what they needed or what they wanted to take. But this one, uh, I, I said I would go ahead and show this one to my uh, people just because it's, it's interesting to me. I wanted to see. Oop. A little sneak peek into some of the next videos there. Um, let me show you some, a couple things here, though. Let me. I notice when I do the auto. Oops, that's, that's not the one I wanted, but we'll let it run anyway. Auto tone. See what it does. Ah, we'll take it. There looks to be some like little carvings into these things. Not necessarily carvings, or you know, more like where stones would have been hidden. I really don't think this was a high tech quarry if they were taking these stones for stuff you know looks like there's some hammer stones around here too it's just kind of laying around um, i imagine these block there if this was one piece of strata that th these blocks right here were already taken out you can see here where this one looks like it was taken out um, maybe cut real thin or something along those lines uh, maybe this only needed a real thin piece, you know, who knows what it was going on. A lot of the stuff we're seeing on Mars is turning out really, really small to me. It just looks small. Everything seems to be a uh, small size. And we don't get we don't get much uh, help scale-wise, especially from Curiosity Pictures when it comes to NASA. So I guess it is what it is. We're on our own. But let me just jack this gamma up just a little bit more. So you can see what I'm talking about here with the, uh, the 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 marks on it, like this one right here. Look at the marks on this one, two, three. It kind of comes down. It's got a 180 degree angle there. It's got some more. It's just very interesting. I, and up on even on here, these seem to have it too. And these kind of look like they were either hammered or possibly even tablets of some sorts. I wonder sometimes why we get such a blurred out picture, but once we start adding, you know, the gamma, we start playing with the uh, contrast a little bit, we can really pull some stuff out. Uh, you know, this is a bad example for pulling out you know, stuff that's written or something along those lines, but I just wanted to get this one out there, let you guys see what you think. There it is in true living color. Like I said, all you got to do is go to the description and click it. Hit like, hit share. Let you guys have said they are perfectly notched out. You know what we'll do here before I go? Let's see. Image. 
layer, new layer. Okay. And then we're going to drop a line. It's, what's this guy here? What's the point on this one? Maybe it'll be that one right there. And then let's see if we can move it and see if it got, has any symmetry. See if it keeps to that one. Not almost exactly with it, but it does have the same angle. Let's see if the other one will do it. All right, with these two pieces right here, we got one right there. Let's see. And let's move it on over and see if that stays. What I'm doing is just seeing if they're, you know, parallel. I haven't done this yet. And they are too. So it does look a little manufactured. It looks like they may be taking some stones from here. What do you guys think? Comment below. Get the longer videos are going to be coming here today. A couple of really long ones I'm going to be doing. Um, also some interesting stuff. Stay tuned to the channel. I, mean, I need to mix it up a little bit. The websites, I just... The website's probably going to get overhauled because I got so many people putting stuff on there now. I want to make it more of like an interactive social type deal. So it's going to be, I'm working on that. I got some stuff coming on. Uh, just an exciting summer coming up here. It's, it's really getting into the heat of it. Um, you know, I'm going to be in and out. Like I said, I, I've got my friend from Russia here staying and uh, I help her out with learning English. Sometimes she's a, she can already speak English really well. And, uh, you know, it's like we're having a good time here and, and enjoying ourselves. So, anyway, guys, much love. Take it easy. Hit the website up, whatsupinthesky.com. You know, check us, Facebook, Energy Field Network. You got it. Much love. What's up in the sky, 37. Peace.